interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Alright everyone, I need your help. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. It helps you out. Make sure you don't miss any content. That way you won't miss when I'm in your city and traveling because I'd love to meet you all. It helps me out as well. So please everybody hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. And I would like to sincerely welcome you to the Happy Healthy Hungry Family. Hey everyone, Joel Anson here. Just got into Toronto and today we're going to a place called Matt's Burger Lab. Yes, that's right. Matt's Burger Lab. So I'll give you a little bit of history on Toronto. So if you're not familiar, Toronto has what used to be the world's tallest like building structure tower thing called the CN Tower. So here at Matt's Burger Lab, they have what is undoubtedly the world's biggest, tallest, craziest chicken sandwich ever, and they're called the CKN Tower. Get it like chicken, CN Tower, haha. -ha. You know what I'm saying. So for this challenge, guys, there is actually 10 pounds of chicken on this. That's that's right. So these are the biggest breasts. Yes, the biggest breasts. Breast, chicken breast, chicken breast that I have ever heard of or seen on a sandwich. Being, they weigh somewhere like around 400-ish grams average. So we're talking like almost a pound of breast. So there is going to be 10 pounds of chicken. I believe it comprises about 12 breasts, um, which is absolutely insane. Then they have their signature coleslaw. They have so many different sauces and stuff they put on this. I've been at Burger Lab in Hamilton before I did a big burger there, um, but this is going to be absolutely insane. Definitely the biggest chicken sandwich I've ever seen, definitely ever heard of, and yeah, I'm excited. So basically, to get the meal for free, we have 40 minutes, um, and if not, the meal is sitting around 100 bucks, something like that for this chicken sandwich. So hopefully we can complete this big old challenge. Should be fun, so let's go on over to Matt's, and uh, that's about it. So let's go have some fun. Let's eat some food. All right, everyone, so here we are with the chicken tower, the CKN Towers. So this is absolutely massive, giant tower. So what we have on this thing, 10 pounds, yes, 10 pounds of chicken alone. 10 pounds of chicken, then we have their house-made coleslaw, we then have their pickles, we have beef bacon, we have all of their sauces, everything from their chipotle sauce, their lab sauce, they have curry ketchups, they have different barbecue sauces. There's so, so, so much food here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to complete this one. This thing is like, it is an item that the video does not do it justice. That is 100% for sure. This thing is absolutely giant. Like, and look, like it's so thick, it's the girth of it. Just like the bun is smaller than the width of the chicken. So anyway, it looks really good though. It smells fantastic, my mouth is watering. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get started here. Let's get going and wish us luck, we're gonna need it. All right, so I'm ready. As ready as I'm ever gonna be. Restaurant is ready. Okay, so that sounds good. So uh, I do have my timer over here. So I'm gonna press start and I'll get started when it gets to like, 20 we'll say, so 20 seconds noted. All right, this is absolutely insane. This is crazy. I, uh, I'm definitely gonna have to lay it down on its side, get a few of these skewers out. This thing is so, so, so giant. Like I said, 10 pounds of chicken alone. I'm probably just gonna, let's, let's just put it on its side. This will hopefully make it a bit easier. All right, so we'll get started. We'll say right now. All right, wish me luck. Oh boy, this thing is hot. Hot tamale. Should have thought about that. And I guess we're actually gonna start right now, so here we go. Ooh. Mm. That bacon. That curry ketchup. That is delicious. I'm gonna try to take these uh, skewers out. So the chicken can kind of cool off in between. It's really kept the heat in between the, uh, the chicken breast there, but I'll try to get them all to be it out. This is so huge. My gosh. Well, damn tasty though. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Matt's Burger Lab in Toronto, Ontario. So this is a really cool restaurant where literally the whole theme is like space and a laboratory and experiments if you look on the menu like even their like signature burgers are noted as experiments which is super super cool so here we are doing the ckn tower chicken tower you know again the making fun of the cn tower um, which is a big tower in toronto but this is the biggest chicken tower yes this is the biggest 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 i think the world's biggest chicken sandwich i've ever seen got some pickles and some guacamole on that fantastic So juicy. So first off, who doesn't like fried chicken? So if you like fried chicken, comment down below. And especially if you like fried chicken sandwiches, I love a good fried chicken sandwich. And this was definitely a great one. 
So this is like a rendition of their menu item. Their uh, traditional chicken sandwich on the menu is called the Death Magnet from my understanding. And this one had everything the Death Magnet did plus a little bit more. Um, and let me tell you about that. So we had their signature purple coleslaw. Yes, a very, very, very creamy purple coleslaw made with secret ingredients. Yes, it was like no coleslaw I've ever had before. Then there was a large variety of all their house-made sauces. Yes, house-made. Curry ketchup. So those sauces included like a garlic sauce, they had their lab sauce, that's their like signature sauce, get it? Like burger lab, lab sauce. They had a couple different barbecue sauces. The ketchup I was using was a curry ketchup. Yes, they actually like cooked the ketchup with curry, I guess to kind of um, like just blend the flavors in, let it all simmer together. And I will say it was very, very good. Um, I love ketchup and I really liked this curry ketchup. It was something I've never had before, but something I would definitely have again. Um, and like I said, just every, all the flavors I was getting was delicious. We also had some of their fresh house-made salsa on here, as which is kind of like a pico-style salsa, and also their fresh house-made guac. So literally pretty much everything on this sandwich. They have this gold barbecue sauce here, and it's fantastic, kind of like honey mustard made. I really have to applaud them for like how they cooked everything, because a breast can be kind of dry if it's cooked wrong. This was not. These chicken breasts were cooked perfectly. They were still really moist, they were really juicy, um, and overall, like I said, a very, very, very delicious chicken sandwich. Garlic sauce. All of this chicken was also served on a brioche bun. I had not gotten to them at this point, so I can't really comment on them, but like I said, everything that I had tasted at this point was absolutely fantastic. Um, so like I said, a lot of the difficulty of this, not only is the sheer size, yes, 10 pounds of chicken, like, especially when it was standing even now you see how just dense and how thick and how compressed all that chicken is solid 10 pounds of breasts hashtag breasts and only 40 minutes so a lot a lot a lot of chicken like just you know the sheer volume of it's crazy definitely a, a hot one Ooh, heating up that's for sure About four minutes in. Oh. Get some of this coleslaw here. Ooh, super creamy. In addition to the sheer volume, also the uh, 40 minute time limit definitely added some difficulty to that. Um, but at that I was set up with uh, some Diet Coke there, or some water. Definitely I had a good appetite. Um, I hurt my side recently. Um, so in fact, I hadn't done any kind of eating, um, like you know, no, no videos, no food challenges, no nothing in pretty much almost three weeks. Um, so I was you know, feeling a little bit better. So I was really hoping my side would hold up at least enough to be able to eat this challenge, um, hopefully complete this challenge, because like I said, it'd been a long time and I was definitely looking forward to some really, really nice food. So that, but that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. Um, like I said, Matt's Burger Lab, really cool spot. Not only do they have these massive big items, but they have a whole bunch of other unique sandwiches you can definitely check out. Again, everything there is being made in house, um, which was super cool. And something I learned, I didn't know they made literally all their sauces, um, you know, again, all their guacamoles, the, cat, the coleslaw, like everything. Um, and like hand breading the chicken, you literally can't get more than that. Um, and again, they also do the smash burgers. That's when I did the challenge before at the Hamilton location. That was a great big um, like smash burger kind of burger challenge. So I'll pin that down below and that I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I can tell there's some curry in like the, the breading of the chicken too. Really nice flavor.
All right, making our way through it. Again, definitely heating up. This is an absolutely huge, 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 huge challenge, huge chicken, chicken sandwich. Woo, like I say, I gotta try to spread these out, let them cool off a little bit. I will say they are very moist, very juicy. The flavors are great. Love all the different sauces on them. That's more of it here. It's like the yellow mustard sauce. Very delicious. Yeah, that mustard based barbecue sauce, I tell you, comment down below if you ever had that. It is damn, damn, damn good. I also have uh, some of the employees, uh, it's a $100 bet whether I was going to finish this or not, so I told them sorry either way. On screen timed out, so I'm not 100% sure how far we are in, but my camera says 13.45, so it's less than that. So somewhere under 14 minutes. Excuse me. Woo. Excuse me. Woo. Oh, definitely a lot of food. Very delicious. I am slowing down a bit, admittedly. I'm trying to, but you fill up. You fill up. Great ketchup's great. Now the last breast. Everybody knows how I feel about breasts. I love breasts. Chicken breast. Then just the buns and some of our shrapnel.
got food on my shortage. Casualties are getting better. Is that good? Did I finish? That's perfect. All right. So whatever time that is, try not to get my phone too busy, too dirty. Woo! Tell you guys. All right. They still look very fit. What you say? They still look very fit. Yeah. He says they still look fit. I, uh, I don't feel so fit right now. Oh. Anyway, I stopped the timer at 19:49, but it's a little bit before that we're done. So I'm gonna say like 19 and a half, maybe. That was a huge chicken sandwich, absolutely giant. Um, very delicious though. They cooked the chicken perfectly. The sauces were fantastic. Um, every time I got some of the chipotle mayo, the garlic sauce, the curry, the curry ketchup I used the whole time, and that mustard uh, kind of barbecue sauce they have, fire, absolutely fantastic. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Like their sauce are great, the chicken burgers were great. And I've never, ever, ever seen a chicken burger specifically breasts, which are that big. Yes, that is right. These are the biggest breasts I've ever seen on a chicken sandwich, ever, ever. Like seriously, they're almost a pound each, which is absolutely insane. So like I said, huge thanks to everybody here at Matt's. Uh, definitely would recommend stopping by Burger Lab here if you want to have one of their experiments and creations, or if you want to try the CKN, you know, get it like a joke of the CN Tower. Um, you can do that as well. So it's definitely about as big as the CN Tower, I'll tell you that much. But yeah, seriously, very delicious, really enjoyed it. No complaints. Here's my staff for having me out here. It's a very beautiful day. I'm very hot after eating all that food and meat sweats are real. But everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. So uh, thank you again, everybody. Of course, at that. I already said goodbye like five times, but just have a lovely day and happy eating. Dang now cat, you're going to be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there, everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also, I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos. Do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.